Welcome back to another reaction video today. So this is another video from Feli from Germany. Uh, I remember reacting, reacting to one of her videos before. I think it was one uh, with uh, the words that are pronounced, how words are pronounced, or German brands. Yeah, how they're pronounced in Germany versus America. And I felt, I'm from Australia, if you can't tell by my accent, uh, I fell more on the German uh, pronouncing side from my memory. Uh, I'll leave a link of it in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, but yeah, like I'm like from Australia, it's like we copy, it's like we use the British English and not American English. So yeah, <laughs> anyway, that's for that video. Uh, let's check this one out today. I've been doing yeah quite a few German reactions. Uh, you can take a look at my playlist. Uh, for them, uh, but I thought I should learn about some of these crazy German laws. Six surprising things that are forbidden in Germany. That's what I mean. I'm learning about Germany, doing some reactions to them. Uh, so, yeah, I uh, might need to know these things that are forbidden in Germany. Let's go. It's common in the US, but illegal in Germany? Here are six crazy German laws that you should know about. All right. Hello, servus, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Felicia. I'm originally from Munich, Germany, but I've been living here in Cincinnati, Ohio, on and off since 2016. Okay. Now, whenever people here in the US find out that I'm German, they usually ask me a bunch of questions. And one thing that I get asked a lot is if Germans are really as obsessed with rules and laws as they're often portrayed. <laughs> and my answer is usually, not every single German loves rules, of course, but Yes, overall following rules is definitely something that is valued a lot in Germany and Germans That's like fair. to have regulations and laws for almost everything. However, some of those laws can be really surprising and funny and that's why today I'll tell you guys about six okay. crazy German laws. Yeah, I'm interested now, in them Now, of course, I'm not going to make okay. you read any long, complicated, wordy laws in German in this video. But if you wanted to be able to read and understand those laws, I would recommend learning German on Babbel, which is today's Babbel. sponsor. Since school there has started go. again and the year is slowly coming to an end, I've been getting more and more messages from you guys asking about my tips on learning a language, which is why I'm very glad to be collaborating with Babbel. Of course, German is one of the coolest we'll languages. just skip the ads part because... Vocabulary lessons. You can do top... No is pretty... Something that will to learn a language. Okay, let's get into it. Now, law number one, it's illegal to run out of fuel on the Autobahn. As most okay. of you probably know, the Autobahn is Germany's interstate system. If you want to learn more about it, you can check out these two videos. And when it comes to driving, there are indeed a lot of regulations that you have to follow as a driver in Germany. Like your car has to pass inspections every two years, called TÜV, otherwise you're not allowed uh. to drive on the streets. Um, okay. You also have to have certain equipment, like a first aid kit and warning vests in your car. I and <laughs> like winter... It. Just this video and then what she's talking about now. Um, yeah, like there's so much to know. There's so much to know or you need to know uh, going to Germany or especially if you're living, plan to live there for extended period. Yeah. All right. Um, to have certain equipment like a first aid kit and warning vests in your car and in the winter it's mandatory to have winter tires on your car and yes you're also obligated to always have enough gas in your tank as a driver and if you don't and actually run out of gas on the autobahn you can be fined and might have to pay 25 up to 120 euros since this is considered preventable and in general it's yeah. also illegal to stop or park on the autobahn even in the emergency lane i mean unless your vehicle is actually breaking down but even then you won't see a lot of cars just left there on the side of the autobahn whereas in the us you regularly see broken down vehicles on the side of the interstate that were just basically parked there and of course since most places in the us don't use radar traps to enforce speed limits but have cops pull people over instead you'll often also see a car that was pulled over and also a cop car behind it in the emergency lane as well on the german autobahn that would actually be considered jeopardizing the road safety especially 
especially since on many parts of the autobahn there is no speed limit so people are going crazy fast yeah Fun yeah fact, I, see yeah i remember doing another reaction of the autobahn like there's no speed limits and yeah yeah there's like crazy speeds uh yeah i might have to look back at my reaction to it but yeah, yeah that's what i remember Apparently this also became illegal in a small town here in Ohio earlier this year in Youngstown, which is close to Cleveland, so okay. don't do it there either. Oh. Number two, it's not allowed to name your baby Superman. Now this one isn't technically a law and you won't get fined for this, but fact is, and this is usually hard to believe for Americans, that in Germany you can't just give your baby any name you want. It'll have to be approved by the local Standesamt, like the civil okay. registration office, and there are rules as to what you can and can't name your kid. I mean, uh, I tell you what, some some celebrities might be in trouble because they be giving their baby some yeah weird names. Of course there are rules for that, it's Germany. We pretty much have a rule for everything. Now, whether the name you picked for your baby will be approved or not depends on different things, such as whether it's a name that actually exists, whether it'll be a reason for bullying later on in the child's life, and sometimes they also don't accept names that aren't obviously a female or a male name, which this last one is kind of ridiculous if you ask me. Here are just some examples <laughs> of names that have been rejected before. Okay. Weidmeister, Junge, which just means boy, Rosenherz, so Roseheart, Bierstube, so kind of like a beer pub, Satan or Satan in German. I'm sorry, who who would have tried to name their baby Satan? Like, oh. okay, <laughs> it's an interesting list they've got there. McDonald's, Superman, Pain, Gucci. Whiskey, or the last names of politicians like Schröder, which was Germany's chancellor before Merkel, or okay. Lenin. And since I already see all these question marks pop up in your guys' eyes, no, you won't be able to call your kid Hitler either. Even though the first name Adolf is technically allowed. These rules are one of the reasons why you won't find a lot of. But I don't. I don't think at the normal parents. I don't think you'll see naming their children Adolf that just be yeah like what she mentioned with the bullying uh yeah I've, I've seen a couple though funnily enough i did a search like you know when you search on facebook i'm like is there any uh, people's name adolf uh yeah yeah we don't even need to get into <laughs> him but yeah there's there's a few though but i guess it's still yeah i know classic is not the right word um but i guess it was common and again, less so uh, since that man came along. But it, like, it was a kind of common name. Like, it sounds like it would have been. Adolf is technically allowed. These rules are one of the reasons why you won't find a lot of crazy first names in Germany. And mm -hmm. also why Germans are often very fascinated by what American celebrities name their kids. Y yeah, exactly. Number three, deny the Holocaust. Now, it's this illegal. one doesn't necessarily fit into a list of crazy or funny laws because mm. I think it's neither of those. However, many people from outside of Germany and outside of Europe aren't aware of this and find it a very interesting law when they first hear about it. It's illegal in Germany to deny the Holocaust. So you can't just say that the crimes of the Holocaust didn't happen. If you do, you can either get fined for it or you can actually get prison time of up to five years. Wow. Now I've read many comments on the That's internet that's surprising but understandable at the same time because that was such a significant thing to happen not in a good way so yeah i think if you go to germany i think that's just something silly to do like if you were to say say that like like you got you got to be smart about it <laughs> The crimes of the Holocaust didn't happen. If you do, you can either get fined for it, it, or you can actually get prison time of up to five years. It obviously now, I've happened. I've read many comments <laughs> on the internet saying that this indicates that Germany doesn't have freedom of speech. Well, that's not true. We do have freedom yeah. of speech, Meinungsfreiheit, as a fundamental right in Germany. However, freedom of speech can be limited by other general laws, okay. by provisions for the protection of young persons, Jugendschutzgesetz, and another person's right 
to personal honor. Those general uh. laws, which are like the first example of what can limit your freedom of speech, cannot be laws that just discriminate against one specific opinion. They have to be neutral and they have to protect another legal right. In this That's case, fair. the right that they're protecting is the dignity of the Holocaust victims and their families, which is something that we value very, very highly yeah, in of Germany. Course. Because after World War II, when the Federal mm. Republic of Germany was founded, the very first paragraph of our constitution, the Grundgesetz, became human dignity shall be inviolable. To respect oh. and protect it shall be the duty of all state authority. I love so that's that. why denying the yes. Holocaust is illegal in Germany, mm. even though we do have freedom of speech, and it's also illegal in 16 other countries. Yeah, like I think like yeah, it has freedom of speech, but then like like I was just saying before, you you be you just gotta be smart about it. It's like, of course, you don't go to Germany and deny the Holocaust. Like, but unfortunately, not everyone in this world is so smart. <laughs> uh, and they th think they could get away with things, but yeah. That's understandable for me. I wouldn't have a problem with that at all. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Number four, it's forbidden to mow the lawn on Sundays or play piano. Oh! Forbidden to mow the lawn on Sundays. I tell you what, when I wake up, when I wake up on a Sunday and hearing uh, people mowing the lawn from that direction, that direction. Yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> but now, nah, um, wow, okay. The playing the piano at night is understandable. But again, like what's the difference from people blasting? Yeah, I clearly I've got problems with people from that side. <laughs> but yeah okay is there the same law i'm not sure if she'll describe it or not uh but like blasting music like even if it is like a saturday or a friday night because that could arguably be louder and they'd be going past midnight but forbidden to mow the lawn on sundays that's an interesting one because i tell you what it's very common here midnight germans like silence this That's is something fair, you'll though. notice if you're ever in Germany, especially if you come from a louder culture like the American one. Cool. Germans tend to speak pretty quietly, especially in public. And we also appreciate having oh. some peace and quiet at home. Oh, I might I might like Germany. Like, I, I like my downtime. I like that quiet time. Especially when I'm someone... I'm at, Obviously, the world can't revolve around yourself. But personally, I like when it's quiet and I can do my own things, especially when I'm recording stuff. Um, yeah, I don't like alternate sound coming uh, from other directions. Clearly, you get that. <laughs> but yeah, I, I might like Germany. <laughs> I might like to come to Germany. Uh, that probably suits me. I, I'd like that quietly especially in public and we also appreciate having some peace and quiet yes. at home which is why there are tons of laws and regulations about how much noise you're allowed to make That's... and when sundays hmm. and public holidays have so at the same time i can't be in my house making crazy noises and blasting music so that that might be <laughs> yeah that i can't just go crazy myself you gotta think about uh, other people been defined as rest periods, Ruhezeiten, for the yeah. whole day, which means that you're not allowed to make loud noises that could disturb others. Exactly. This includes mowing your lawn or using a drilling machine, for example. So if you were trying okay. to do some renovations at home, not on Sundays. This also applies okay. to night. See, that's fair. At least you can have a, a lo allotted time. You can have a certain time you can do that. But the thing is, people have jobs <laughs> on the Sundays. Sunday is generally the free time. I guess. I guess Saturday. I, I'm. I'm guessing Saturday is very busy and loud. It, it, that seems like it's the allowed day that you can do that stuff. Let, let me know if that's the case. Uh, yeah, Saturday. Yeah, is is a bit noisy. 
lunchtime rest periods, which usually start at 8 p.m., and sometimes even to lunch hours. The rules okay. for the lunch hours usually vary, though, depending on where in Germany you live, and some rules will even be made by the house management of your apartment building. The Federal High Court of Justice has even ruled that playing an instrument in rental apartments is only allowed at certain times, from 8 a.m. to oh. noon and from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Okay, hold up. So that's one thing. I don't play an instrument, but I do a bit of like recording music as well. So that's probably a same thing. Like you can't go crazy recording uh, vocals and stuff like that and making music uh, at late hours uh, of the of the night. But they have a lot when it when it when it comes to noise. Okay, there is a lot of rules. There's a lot of laws. That's important. Okay. Yeah, I, I like how strict they are towards this, though, in terms of, yeah, you can't just be making loud noises and disregard your neighbors. Yeah, that's, I, I like that. Justice has even ruled that playing an instrument in rental apartments is only allowed at certain times, from 8 a.m. to noon and from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Wow. And even then, you can only practice for a certain amount of time. Piano players only get That's... up to two hours per day, and drummers, for example, get 45 minutes in the summer and 90 minutes in the winter. How, how, do, how does that get monitored, though? I feel like that will be hard to monitor. I mean, if someone's clearly doing it for hours, it's obvious, but if you go a little bit over, yeah, I, I feel like it might be hard to, yeah, monitor that. Yes, German laws are very specific. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Five, it's not allowed to keep urns at home. This topic doesn't really come up a lot in conversations in everyday life, unfortunately, but the Germans among you may have wondered about this when watching American movies before, because mm. in the US, it's pretty common that after no. a loved one dies, you take the urn home with you. I've definitely seen this in movies and shows before where either it's part of a comedic moment because someone doesn't realize that it's an urn, or of course, it's part of a drama. Well, that's something that you won't ever see in Germany because we have a law wow. called Friedhofszwang, cemetery compulsion, that says that any mortal remains have to be buried at a cemetery, or wow. alternatively, after a cremation, you can have a sea burial in Germany as well. Now, in the past okay. few years, the rules have been lifted a little in different states. In Bremen, for example, it's now allowed to spread ashes on privately owned property, mm. but you're still not allowed to take the urn home with you. In general, there's pretty big differences when it comes to funerals and cemeteries in Germany and the US. I've actually had the topic on my list for a while, so let me know if you'd want me to talk about that more in depth at some point. Okay. And number six, you'll be punished for saying do to a cop. Dude. Okay, those of you who speak German probably understand this law right away, but for everyone else, do is the German word for you. Now, why would that be a problem if you use that with a cop? Because in German, just like in other languages like French or Spanish, we have a formal and an informal address. So depending on what relationship you have with the person you're talking to, you'll use a different pronoun and also a different grammar structure when you talk to them. Du mm. is the informal pronoun for you, while capital Z is the formal one. The formal one is usually used with people who are significantly older, strangers, people of authority, or just people that you have a professional relationship with. It okay. really depends on the specific situation, but if it's not a child or someone you're close with, you usually don't use the informal address with them until you two allow each other to do so. Now, since police are people of authority and you speak to them in a professional context, you use the formal address with them, Z. And if you don't, and use do with them instead, that can actually be viewed as insulting an official. Beamtenbeleidigung, because it's disrespectful and you may have to pay 600 euros for it. Oof. The actual fines are decided on a case-to-case -case basis, but this is one number I found. I also found that showing a cop <laughs> the finger gets you up to 4,000 euros. Like, that makes sense to me. <laughs> like, that's something where you... You, you you know you would get in trouble for doing that. Uh, like, yeah, that one's a bit more obvious. Whew, there's there's quite, a, quite a few things you need on the list here going to Germany, or you could be in trouble. 
Now, technically, insulting an official is just based on the general laws of not insulting others. There's no extra laws just about insulting officials, but I would assume that police enforce this much more than regular people do, so you should definitely be careful here. But also, I'm pretty sure that they would only enforce it if you obviously do it on purpose, and if they okay. can tell that you're a non-native speaker and try to speak German with them and just make an honest mistake, I'm sure it's not a big deal. Okay. Yeah, because I'm sure that happens. I have come across a few more very interesting German laws, like the ones about beekeeping, but maybe I'll mention those in the future at some point. For now, what other funny, crazy, or just surprising German laws have you heard of? Share them with me and everyone else in the comments below. And, of course, I have been thinking about also making a video about the craziest laws in the US. I'm sure that many of oh. you have heard some examples of that because <laughs> the US does have some very interesting laws. So if you'd like to see That's a video sure. about those, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and of course subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss it. As always, you can support my channel through the super thanks button underneath the video, right. by joining my Patreon family or by buying me a drink on buymeacoffee.com. Thank you guys so much for your support. And since the last Oktoberfest weekend is about to start, if Oktoberfest was actually taking place this year, you can find my Oktoberfest collection, including my beer mugs, coasters, bottles. All right, yeah, this is just all the stuff here, but yeah, uh, shout out to Feli from Germany. Uh, yeah, really puts that video well together. So like she was saying, is there any more? Is there any more crazy, crazy laws that she didn't mention in this video? I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure there's more. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let me know. There's some of them like, yeah, that keep you on your toes. Like, oh, okay, yeah, I might need to know this, but then others that were more obvious, uh, as you see through my reactions to them all. But yeah, uh, anyway, if you got more videos like this, you want me to react to where they're like important, important things if you're gonna go to Germany. Uh, you gotta, yeah, make sure you're not getting in trouble <laughs> by things that you do. Where, where there might be things that you are, yeah, like the title says, surprising, where it might seem like something normal in other countries. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, subscribe for more videos about Germany and other reactions. I do a lot on my channel. So uh, yeah, let me know some more and I'll see you in the next one.